So this term we're doing a new uh, topic on settlements um, and in particular today we're going to think about settlement sites. And so the learning objective really is to understand why early settlers chose sites to live on. What was it that made people think this is a really good place to settle, to build my house and then other people build there with them and develop from there. Just some key terms that just to get out of the way. A settlement is a place where people live. Settlements can be um, as small as a single house um, in a remote area or as large as a mega city. Okay, So anything from one house in the middle of nowhere up to the size of a mega city with only for 10 million people is classed as a settlement. A settlement can be permanent or temporary. Sometimes uh, when we talked about the Calais jungle, Calais jungle was a, is a, where the, um, lots of refugees and, and migrants were moving to in Calais before traveling across to the UK and they built the temporary jungle, um, it was called. Um, and that's an example of a temporary, um, temporary settlement. The, so the settlement sites on here, when you get to this stage, there is an introductory video that you can watch that will help you, okay? And you can watch, uh, you can watch that uh, through that will help you on these sections. However, the main reasons why people build settlement sites. So number one is building materials. So but people need wood or stone, so it's useful to be somewhere that's near a wood or a rocky hill. Another reason they might need is shelter. You might need somewhere with a south-facing south slope and it's got more sun and it gives you protection from wind. Trees and things can also provide protection. Um, good views from the hilltop give you warning if you're about to be attacked. So people who were building settlements early on would be cons concerned about whether they could be attacked by other people looking to steal their animals, crops, belongings, whatever it might be. Key thing we're always going to need, like when you go camping, where, where am I going to get water from? So you might put your tent or your settlement near to water. Um, also useful for cooking and washing. But also, the flip side of that is you don't want to go somewhere where you're going to get too much flooding. Um, you're going to need some wood. You're going to need to keep warm. So you're going to need fires to keep warm and to cook on. You might want a river. Rivers can be, you want a river that's easy to cross. If you go near a river that's too big, you can't cross it. If you go near a river um, that's too small, um, people and attackers may be able to get across it more easily. So you might, and you might want to think about how you're going to get across. Is there a bridge? Could you make a bridge to get across your river? And then you're going to want to think about what the shape of the land is like. Have you got flat land? Is it land that is easy to um, build on? If you build, a, you might find a nice hill that, that provides lots of shelter and it gives good protection from people attacking. But if you can't build on it, then that's a big problem. So they're the main reasons why people would build settlements and start settlements. So once you get beyond that page, what I want you to do is I want you to look at these four pictures. And in the picture, I want you to write in what are the reasons people might or might not settle in each of these locations and write them straight onto the document. You might want, it might be helpful if you wrote a good reason in green and a reason they're not gonna settle there in red, okay? So it's advantages and disadvantages. When you get to this slide, I'd like you to write down which settlement of the, pre of the previous four would you choose to settle on? Which do you think is the best place, bearing in mind all the criteria that we talked about from this slide here? Okay, once you've done that, there is a little map work exercise and this is an OS map work uh, map task with Shrewsbury and I'd just like you to look at the map and come up with two maybe three reasons why people settled here and then write them in the box on the right there and then the last thing to do 
is there is a little quiz, quizzes at the end for you to finish off.